So if someone asks you the difference between decidua basalis, decidua capsularis and decidua parietalis, how will you explain? So the uterine lining, uh, that is the endometrium, changes its name from endometrium to decidua as soon as this blastocyst, which is the day 5 um, uh, of the embryonic development, as soon as it implants into the favorable uterine lining, this endometrium is called as decidua. So that is where decidua comes from, the word. Now, wherever it implants, that portion of the endometrium gets the name decidua basalis. And whatever forms around the embryo, that will be called as decidua capsularis. And the remaining part of the uterine wall, uh, that will be called as decidua parietalis. So now let us look at a diagram. So wherever it implanted, that gets the name decidua basalis, right? You can, we can see that here, decidua basalis here, right? And around the embryo, we have the decidua capsularis, okay? And remaining part of the endometrium will get the term decidua parietalis, okay?